Francisco Serundulo is known for his ability to move quickly and smoothly around the tennis court, making it difficult for his opponent to inspect his shots. To achieve such mastery of footwork, Serundulo employs a number of different footwork drills, one of which is designed specifically to stimulate breaking force, or meaning eccentric control, and achieve control of different support at a speed above normal. This type of footwork involves performing assisted movement in favor of rubber band, which provides resistance and helps to build strength and control. In addition to improving eccentric control and overall footwork, this type of training also stimulates the strengthenings, centerings, and first step to an impact, allowing a more power in that step. This can especially use, be useful for players who rely on powerful shots, as it allows them to generate more speed and force in their swings. To carry out these footwork drills, Serendulo begins by attaching a rubber band to a fixed object such as a fence or pole. He then stands facing the object with the band stretched out behind him. From here, he performs a series of rapid side steps, moving from left to right and back again. As he moves, Serundulo focuses on maintaining proper form and technique, keeping his feet low to the ground and his knees bent. He also works on to maintain control of his movement, using his core and leg muscles to stabilize himself and prevent excessive wobbling and or shaking. Throughout the drill, Serundulo keeps his eye fixed on the object to which the rubber band is attached, using it as a point of reference to help him maintain proper alignment and positioning. He also works to maintain a steady rhythm, moving quickly and effectively without sacrificing control or balance. This type, this uh, exercise requires a great deal of focus and concentration, as well as a strong sense of body awareness. As Serendulo becomes more proficient, proficient at this drill, he may increase the resistance of the rubber band, making it more challenging to move quickly and efficient. This can help build even greater strength and control in his footwork as well as improve his overall endurance and stamina at the, at the tennis court. Another variation of this footwork drills involves using a series of cones and markers to create a zigzag pattern on the tennis court. Serendulo then performs a series of quick steps moving forward and backward through the pattern while maintaining a proper form of technique. This type of drill can be especially effective for building agility and speed, as well as improving lateral movement and control. It can also be helpful to develop a greater spatial awareness and eye and eye coordination, as the player must constantly adjust and adjust their movement in response to the placement of the cones. Furthermore, further to further challenge himself, Serendulo may also have incorporate uh, changes in direction of speed into these drills, facing him react quickly and make split the second decision on the tennis court. This can be especially useful for improving his ability to respect his opponent moves and adjust his own position. Timing is a crucial aspect of any fo forehand shot, and Serendulo works hard to ensure that he is able to maintain his swings correctly. This involves developing a good sense of rhythm and space of the and pace of the game, as well as working on his footwork and his special skills. By improving his time, Serendulo is better able to hit his forehand shots with the precision and power, giving him an advantage over his opponents. Another important skill that Serendulo works on is the ability to adjust to a different situation on the tennis court. 
This includes being able to adapt his short session selection and technique based on the position of his opponent. This the type of shot being played and the condition of the court. By practicing a variety of different scenarios and, and learning to, to think on his feet, Serendulo is better prepared to handle whatever comes in his way during a match. In addition to, to timing and adapti, adap, adaptability, Serendulo also focuses on developing shoulder and stability and wrist lung in his forehand technique. These elements are essential for generating power and control on his shots and require a combination of strength, flexibility, and precision. By working on this aspect of technique, Serendulo is able to hit his forehand with greater force and accuracy, allowing him to dominate on the tennis court. Finally, proper posture when transferring weight is crucial for executing a powerful and effective forehand. This involves maintaining a stable and balanced stance, keeping the shoulder and hips aligned, and transferring weight smoothly on one foot to the other. By practicing proper posture and weight transfer, Serendulo is able to maximize the power and accuracy of his shot while also minimizing the risk of injury. <clears throat> According to Serendulo, it's important to simulate both strength and aerobic power, stamina to avoid wasting time adapting to the load and to ensure that the routine or physical condition is not relevant. This approach not only helps to improve overall fitness but also helps to develop specific skills needed for tennis. One of the key aspects of Serendulo's training is the focus on core stabilizing muscles. These muscles, which include the abs, back, and the hips muscles, are essential for maintaining good posture, balance, and control during tennis movement. The main action of the ab is the gesture, is to achieve a solid as an unstable base of the transmission of force from the legs to the arms. This is crucial for hitting powerful and accurate shots. In addition to the abdomen, uh, uh, addition to the additional ab exercise, like crunches and sit-ups, Serendulo also works on the oblique abs. The muscles are responsible for rotating the torso slightly, which gives him more strength to the shots. By focusing on these muscles, Serendulo is able to generate greater power and accuracy in his shots, which is essential for winning matches. Another key aspect of Serendulo training is the focus of greater gravity, the pelvix, which is, is located near the ground, in the center of gravity of the body. By focusing on these areas, Serendulo is able to improve his stability and control, which is essential for executing tennis movement. Finally, Serendulo max Minds the importance of reducing compensatory moves that may occur from arriving poorly supported. <clears throat> this means ensuring that the body is properly aligned and balanced before executing any tense movement. By doing so, Serendulo is able to reduce the risk of injury and maximize the performance on the tennis court. In addition to this focus of strength training, Serendulo also incorporates sport related play activity into his training regimen. This helps improve overall fitness agility and coordination which is essential for performing well in the tennis court. To improve his serve, Serendulo has focused on several key areas including power serve, training on the pole, performing a circuit work ranging from a resistant movement to a safer, to a faster and explosive drills and working with the medicine board to improve his serve, power and leg and boost leg thrust on the takeout. One of the key elements of Serendulo power serve training is the pull. This involves practicing the motion of pulling the racket back and preparing for the serve. With the focus, with the focus on explosive power and speed. By focusing on the on this aspect of of his serve, Serendulo is able to generate more power and speed in his serve, making it more difficult for his opponent to return. In addition to power serve training on the pull. Serendulo also performs a circuit of work, work that includes resistant movement and faster movements and faster explosive drills. This helps to build strength and endurance in the muscle muscles in the muscle used during the serve, allowing him to maintain his power 
and accuracy over the course of a long tennis match. Working with a medicine ball is another key component of Serendulo's surf training. By using the medicine ball to simulate the motion of the surf, he is able to build strength in the muscles used to surf, as well as improve his overall coordination and balance. This translates to a more powerful and accurate surf on the tennis court. Finally, Serendulo also uses a band above his knees to control his valve of or knee inward motion. By keeping his knees in a line during the surf, he is able to generate power, more power and speed while also reducing the risk of getting injured. In his practice sessions, Serendulo focuses on perfecting his backhand to make it an even more potent weapon on the tennis court. Serendulo works on strengthening his back backhand by hitting a lot of balls with it, both crosses court and down the line. He also spends time doing specific exercises to improve his backhand power, such as messing ball throws and resistant bundles. Furthermore, Serendulo takes time to work on his flaws and then find areas where he can improve his technique. By doing so, he can make sure that his backhand is consistent and reliable even under pressure. Improving his backhand has also allowed Serendulo to increase the variety of tennis strokes. He can hit with ease with a, with a stronger and more versatile backhand. He can hit winners from all parts of the tennis court and put pressure on his tennis opponents.